Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word that we have received. What a mighty word that we have received. And we declare that we have received it on good ground for our betterment and our growth. We are going to marinate on this word. We are going to receive the word in Jesus' name. At this time, we have the honor and the privilege to be able to welcome our covering pastor, Reverend Dr. Maria A. Seaman, <laughs> to unmute and give her remarks and nuggets in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Sister Laquita. God bless you. I certainly honor uh, Pastor Randy. God bless you, Pastor Lightborn. And to you, First Lady, Reverend Eunice Lightborn, God bless you the same. Well, another sobering word, just like I love it, just like I love it. You know, we're living in the last days. Who's got time for cotton candy? You sound like the world is a cotton candy world to you? Sounds to me like we need soldiers. You know, we need people to, who understand the times in which we live. Let me also say good, good blessings to Beacons for Christ ministry folks. God bless you. Special shout out to Joshua. I see you there. Um, to those of Shekinah Worship Center, God bless you the same. I'm always delighted by the word. I, I want to share some points here. You know, Jesus really knows you. you know, let's dig in on the really knows you. You, know, you think you know me. <laughs> I think I know you. Jesus really knows. You know, he is the one who pierces into our hearts. Now, I may be jumping ahead of my own self, but let me say this. I'm looking for the church who consider it an honor to be chastened. Hallelujah. In other words, God finds something wrong with me and says, girl, I love you. What? What? He loves me that much? No, wait a minute now, flashback. Isn't that what we wanted as teens? The females, that boy, that, that we thought was the, he was the best. We want him to chase us. And we want, we want all the other girls to lose the race and we're going to win. Well, this is an earthly thing. We're talking about an eternal spiritual thing. God's saying, now, who, who, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm checking your heart out. And something's not right. You ain't living where you could be living, and you could lose this race. So I'm going to chase after you. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to run you down. And you're actually not going to like it because you're in your flesh. But if you endure the chastening process, you're going to come back to your right mind. And you're going to realize, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for chasing me down, for looking at my heart. And when I could fool everybody else, you, I couldn't fool you. And you came on running after me. Powerful. We are pilgrims traveling through this world. Now, some people believe that they can live any old way, and inherit the kingdom. No, no, this earth here is a trial run. It's a, it's a real trial run. It comes for real, right? This ain't a practice, and they say, okay, tomorrow you can do better. Like when Pastor Randy ran and he wanted his times to get better, this is it. We've got one life to live. No preacher can preach you into heaven after you have not run or run in vain, or run a soulish race. This is it. So it ain't given time for me to be fluffed with you. Because Jesus Christ has come. Listen, according to 2 Timothy 3, and there's 19 hit points. What's not happening right now? What's not going on in the world right now? Not just in a shadow way, <laughs> big time, you know, big time going on. You know, this litmus test, you know, Jesus, you know, it's today to like an early shadow. No, it's the litmus test. And those of you remember, remember your science. It's when you, you put that litmus paper in and if it was an acid, 
she turned red. If it was a base, it turned blue. Folks, I know this ain't cup match, but we are in the red. And I hope you hear me by the Holy Ghost. We are in the red and blue of the time of the world that we're living in. Litmus test is, is spiking. One, two, three, ascetic. It's spiking. Nine through 12, base. And, and, and hardly any neutral. And you can be neutral. Don't be, don't be like Le Laodicea. What neutral? You think Jesus was neutral when he hung up on a cross? Yeah, we're not, we cannot be neutral. So your God, this was so vital. This was the point that, that's going to carry me through as I ponder on this message, Pastor, is that Jesus wept over the condition of Jerusalem, right? So I want to know, in my logical mind, who is weeping over the condition of Bermuda or the condition wherever you are? Am I having so much fun in this world? Am I, am I so pulled away? Am I so focused on what I can do, what I can get, that I've become the descendants directly of the money changers. That I don't understand that I must have a zeal. If you ain't got a zeal, you can't you can hang around me too long. I don't play nonsense. I don't play friends. I don't, uh -uh. Do you know who you are and the times in which we're living? Do you understand that Jesus could come on that cloud any second? Who can we save by the word of God? And I thought that was an, uh, a wonderful, the sermon seemed like it just was the part two or, or pick up or the relay from this morning with our, our Reverend Dr. Woods. Because it's the word. If you're not interested in the word, you're not interested in the world being saved. Okay? It's only the word that will do it. What pride, high-minded, without natural affections, I'm not even going to go there. You know, it ain't natural. Some churches, like you said, embrace it. Oh, we just accept anything. Really? That's not my Bible, and it's not your Bible, and it's not God's word. Because important, this, this is going to be coming on Swim TV, so this is important, that when we accept any old thing and lie against God's word, that pastor, that preacher, that church is ushering people to hell with joy. But you better enjoy it now, because in hell you will weep and you will wail that you did not obey the word of God. That's all that is. And so, can Jesus really be pleased with oh, the pressure of it all, for real? You know, does Jesus marvel at your faith on somebody? Well, the only way that can happen is if you're in God's word and you are enduring, okay? Because again, some people, whoever they are, in whatever church they are, pragmatists, married to the world, political, can't get anybody mad, can't get the rich people in the congregation mad. Listen, money ain't gonna be in heaven and in hell it's not gonna be there too. And so therefore, many people will endure sound doctrine. I'm, I'm just baffled by people that lobby against God's holy word. Yet, I must be zealous. You must be zealous. The true, living, unpolluted church. Yes, we're still being sanctified, but as much as lieth within me, preaching the gospel, hearing the gospel, Understanding that we are traveling through on our way to eternity. Many people have, 
ass from this earth and going. Don't you think it ends there? Matter cannot be created or destroyed. Only change from one form into another. Well, my scientists know that. Yay. And listen, really good. How do we know it's true? Watch this. We have loved ones that have passed on, and once in a while, we smell their scent. We hear their voice. Come on, somebody. Now, don't get spooky. It ain't because they're her. They ain't her. But you sense how powerful their presence was because it's like it's echoing from time past to time is. This stuff is real with me. I put on my Nuxim. I didn't have not listen, story. I didn't have Nuxim for five days, I think, this week. Every time we went to go, you know, go in the bathroom, I'd be like, oh man, my Nuxim. Forgetting it. I think it was a week. Forgetting it. Finally remembered. Oh, yesterday, put on my Nuxim. I said, Grandma, put on my Nuxim. Because it's a memory. It's a memory associated what I currently will do. This is big if we don't teach them, if we don't train them. That's why we're having, that's why I'm preaching, preaching, preaching. Thank God we got a soul today. Amen. And one is real close. Glory to God. But because a generation have not heard it, they can't hear the familiar turn of it and be drawn. Come on. I had to get gas on my way home. I stopped and I talked to that gas attendant. He said he knew I am. Oh, I know you. And he gave me some history and I said, all right. So when you get your Sunday off, da, 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 I went into it. I ain't saying nothing because I got people seeing say her pastor mentioned somebody's name, they snatch him. So I got to watch out. Try to get him. Force him to be under weak ministry. Hey, I told him I need some strong black man because we got to do some things in Bermuda. What am I doing? I'm zealous. Not everybody can handle me. This is what I live, I breathe, and I mean. Mm. Go figure. I've got an earthly duty. So God does look at my heart and say, you lazy sight. I gave you all the talent and gifts. Look at you, you're good for nothing. I don't care how cute people think you are and how nice. You ain't nobody. That's, that, it's a spiritual thing. See, we look at the physical. Oh, it looks right at the heart. Because guess what? All our hearts look pretty much the same. A little extra plaque hair, a little extra whatever. I, 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 I'm too impressed with my outward appearance because it's going to continue to fade. But the inner man that we are, mm. so Pastor Randy, as, as always, I delight in hearing the passion of the word that God speaks through you. Beacons for Christ's ministry, you are under a man of God. And you can sense by the spirit that he has a job to do. And he must needs be about his father's business. As must we. Be encouraged, be blessed, Shekinah. This is it. This is what we've been born to do. Bring others into the kingdom. Everyone, just know this word. I pray that you just don't listen to it one time. A diligent student, just like in high school now, you review your work so that you can really understand it. And I listen to every sermon pretty much two, three times to be reminded, Lord, how did I feel when Pastor Randy said this? Like, I know, I wrote myself a note. I said, what? I need to do a reading for Swim TV of the 2 Timothy 3, verse 19. You know why? Because the world, they don't understand the Bible. Isn't, go watch them. They are unfolding the Bible themselves, but in a negative way. Before I cook, I'm going to read this and record it for commercial while I've got my contacts on. You know I do. So I, I listen to sermons and to teachings like Dr. David Jeremiah, my own precious bishop, because if I, when I listen, if I didn't write it down, if I listen through it, I get that same feeling again. 
and it triggers me. Oh, this is what you need to do. Be blessed, church. Be conquerors. Be more than conquerors. Walk in the light. Be beacons. Jesus Christ, shine forth. Let your light shine. Somebody needs your light. Light and your light along this pathway. God bless you and blessings abound. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you to our covering pastor, Dr. Reverend Maria Seaman, for those additional uh, words of encouragement for Father expounding on the word. And thank you for that double blessing that we've received today, always in honor. And we receive it on good ground in Jesus' name. At this time, we're going to ask our sister Stacy to unmute, and she's going to take us into the closing prayer. Good evening, church. Um, what a challenging word um, that we have heard. And um, let us just take our pastor before the Lord in prayer. Father, we just thank you for this message, oh God. We thank you for the challenge of this word, oh God. We thank you that we are getting the meat of your word, oh God, not getting the, the milk for babes, oh God, but Lord, we are being challenged because Lord, we know that this is the end times, oh God. We do not want to have that, that word that makes us feel comfortable and cozy, but Lord, we need to be stirred up in righteousness and holiness. And so we thank you, Father God, for all that has transpired in this service, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for, Lord, even for the opening prayer, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for every song that was sung, oh God, how we were reminded that we have victory in Jesus, hallelujah. How we were told, Father God, we, we, we asked you to come with your glory and to settle here in our hearts, oh God, in our midst, oh God, that we can worship you, that we can serve you, oh God. Lord, As and that, Lord, we told you, oh God, that we love you, oh God, more than anything, oh God. But then the word that came forth, are you pleased with us, oh God? Lord, let us never, ever be in the place where we make you sick, oh God, where, where you want to spew us out. Lord, have mercy on, Lord, those that are walking contrary to your call, oh God. Lord, let us not be lukewarm in anything that we do. Let us not compromise, oh God, but let us go forth with power and boldness. Lord, let us see the seriousness of the hour that souls need to be won for your glory and for your honor. We thank you for the encouraging words of our covering pastor, Pastor Seaman. We thank you that you would continue to bless her, oh God, give her wisdom. We thank you for the Shekinah family, for Sister Carolyn and for Reverend Alder Trot and for all those that took the time out to come. Lord, we not take it for granted, oh God, because Lord, they just finished their service, but we give you thanks for them, oh God. And we pray that you will continue to bless each one of us as a beacon of Christ, oh God, for your service, oh God. Lord, let us shine forth, oh God, as Pastor said. Let us be reminded, oh God, that we are to be light in this dark world, that we are to be that light on a hill that gives light to those that need it. So, Father, be glorified, be honored, and blessed with all that happened here. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Stacy. Uh, for closing us out in prayer. Um, at this time, we're going to go directly into our uh, declaration and we can speak it uh, boldly from where we are. Amen. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God, being built into a mighty fortress because we love, adore, are loyal, and are passionate toward our King Jesus Christ, are prepared to do his business and walk into the supernatural power of his kingdom hallelujah jesus christ is lord hallelujah thank you jesus that is our declaration amen at this time we want to thank each of you for taking the time out to join us this does conclude our service for this week june the 26th 2022 god loves you we love you remember as you go throughout your week that we are beacons for Christ and we have a duty to let our light so shine before man that they may see our good works 
and glorify our Father who is in heaven. God bless you, shine bright, and be a beacon of light. Amen. God bless you.